Hey there, fellow tech enthusiasts, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we've got an incredibly exciting topic to delve into. We're going to be talking about the best 1440 PGPU of 2024. With next gen gaming and content creation demands on the rise, finding the perfect graphics card is more crucial than ever. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell because you won't want to miss out on this one. Number 5. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti is an extremely powerful GPU that bridges the 1440 and 4K gaming divide. It can dabble in higher resolutions for select games, but we found it to struggle when pushed. However, at 1440, the RTX 3060 Ti is unbeatable. Now that ray tracing has been around for a few generations, the 3060 Ti does a fantastic job of implementing it with minimal performance impact. While this is an excellent graphics card, and certainly more than most people wishing to game at 1440 per choir, it is not without flaws, including an inconvenient 12-pin power connector that is not standard. However, an 8-pin converter is included. On the bright side, when performing graphically intense tasks, this GPU runs far cooler than its predecessors. You don't have to break the bank to get access to next-generation graphics performance with the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti. While the RTX 3060 can be had for even cheaper, the RTX 3060 Ti is a better deal because it offers more performance for the price. The 3060 Ti in particular improves on the 3060's strong 1080p performance by allowing you to play the newest triple at games at 1440 upon high settings. And if you use DLSS, you might even be able to squeeze in some 4K gaming. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti is not the fastest or most rugged GPU available, but it delivers good performance at an affordable price. This places it among the top graphics cards available right now. It's also an excellent GPU for individuals who find flagship cards like the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 or the more expensive NVIDIA GeForce R Number 4. AMD Radeon RX 7800 XT the AMD Radeon RX 7800 XT has finally arrived, albeit much later than expected. When a new architecture, like as AMD's RDNA 3, is released, the Halo parts are released first, followed by high-end, mainstream, and eventually affordable GPUs. However, AMD ignored the RX 7900 XTX slash XT in favor of the RX 7600, most likely due to an oversupply of RX 6000 series GPUs in the channel. Now nine months after the debut of Navi 31, AMD is preparing to introduce the mid-tier Navi 32 to compete with the finest graphics cards. On the desktop, the Navi 32 will be available in two variants, the Radeon RX 7800 XT and the Radeon RX 7700 XT. We'll include both cards in the charts, however, the 7700 XT will be reviewed independently, so we can simply score them separately, if you're wondering. Will there be more Navi 32 variants in the future? We certainly anticipate some mobile solutions, but given present market conditions, we are unlikely to see any non-XT components. The RX 7800 XT is priced at $499 and uses the full Navi 32 GCD, graphics compute die, plus four NECDs, memory cache dies, whereas the RX 7700 XT disables six cuts. Number three, Radeon RX 7600. The Radeon RX 7600 and its Navi 33 GPU have largely replaced the previous generation Navi 23 parts, although with a few added functions. For around $20 more, you get slightly quicker performance than the RX 6650 XT while utilizing about 20 to less power. Superior ad performance, if that matters, AV1 encoding and decoding hardware and DisplayPort 2.1 UHBR 13.5 outputs are among the goodies. Since the RX 7600 debuted, prices have dropped by roughly $20. However, prior generation RX 6600 class GPUs have largely stayed pace. The specifications are also similar, including the same 8GB GDDR6 and 128-bit memory interface. Both the 6650 XT and RX 7600 have 18 gaps RAM, therefore bandwidth remains constant. Across our 15-game test suite, the RX 7600 outscored the RX 6650 XT by 4% at 1080 and 1% 1 at 1440 pick stream. There is basically no discernible difference, though there are a few outliers. Metro Exodus Enhanced performed far better on the 7600, whereas Forza Horizon 5 performed significantly worse. However, newer drivers may have altered those results. There is no direct NVIDIA competition in terms of price. 
the RTX 4060 is $40, $50 more expensive, while the RTX 3050 is now roughly $20 less expensive, but on its way out. AMD easily beats the Enamic 3050, offering 40% better performance, but we never liked that card. Meanwhile, the RTX 4060 provides around 25% more performance for 16% more money. Buy the RX 7600 if you primarily want. Number 2. NVIDIA VFORCE RTX 4070 The NVIDIA RTX 4070 follows up on one of the best graphics cards of all time, the RTX 3070, and improves on it in almost every way. From gaming performance to synthetic benchmarks, I exhaustively tested these two cards and discovered that the RTX 4070 was sometimes 40% faster than its predecessor in some games, yet the RTX 4070's magic eventually averaged out to an average performance boost of about 21%. And despite a 20% price increase over the RTX 3070 MSRP from the previous generation, the RTX 4070 performs so wonderfully that you can only shrug. With gaming performance at every resolution capable of competing with NVIDIA RTX 3080 and RTX 30870 Ti, the latter card boasting an MSRP double that of the RTX 4070, there's no doubt that this is the best graphics card on the market right now. The NVIDIA VUFORCE RTX 4070 is finally available, and for gamers looking for an upgrade, this is the one to get. It is capable of almost everything. It's difficult to follow up the RTX 3070, one of the best graphics cards of all time, and in our NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 review, we praise that card for being an outstanding performer at 1080 and 1440 p which is where the vast majority of PC gamers game, while also being a much more affordable option than NVIDIA's other two launch cards for the Ampere lineup. We were particularly impressed by how the RTX 30 Number 1. GeForce RTX 4090 The best graphics card is the fastest GPU, regardless of price. NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 4090 is designed specifically for this type of customer. It also marked the introduction of NVIDIA's Ada Lovelace architecture, and it will be the most powerful card NVIDIA has to offer probably until 2025 when the next generation GPUs are expected. The RTX 4090 has a bigger gap between itself and the next closest NVIDIA GPU, clocking in 35% faster overall than the RTX 4080 throughout our suite of gaming benchmarks. It's also 51% faster than AMD's top-tier RX 7900 XTX, but costing around 60% more. To be clear, you will need a high refresh rate 4K monitor to get the most out of the RTX 4090. At 1440 p its advantage over a 4080 drops to 23%, and at 1080 p it's only 13%, and that includes some demanding DXR titles. At 1080p, the advantage over the RX 7900 XTX is reduced to 24%. To get the most out of the 4090, you'll need not just a high-resolution, high-refresh-rate monitor, but also the fastest CPU feasible. It's not just about game performance. The RTX 4090 outperforms the RTX 4080 by up to 45% in professional content creation workloads including Blender, Octane, and V-Ray. And it's more than three times faster in Blender than the RX 7900 XTX. Let's not even get started on artificial intelligence. The RTX 4090 is almost four times quicker than the 7900 XTX in stable diffusion testing for 512 x 5 So guys, there concludes our top five best 1440p GPU of 2024 list. All product links are in the description, which is updated with the lowest prices. Subscribe to our channel for more videos. Until then, we'll see you in the next video.